Hey everybody, Phil Clemente here, Air Filtration Solutions. Today I'm going to be comparing some air filters uh, for hospitals or any other healthcare facility. They are sometimes referred to as final filters or primary filters. But here we have the Fiberbond Multi Wedge 95, and here we have the very popular Mini Pleat V Cell, we call them. Uh, very good filter, both of these very good filters, probably the tops in the industry right now is what you're looking at here. Uh, now it all depends on what you want as a uh, engineering director of a, of a hospital or a healthcare facility. In my experiences, I see a lot of moisture, I see a lot of molds and spores in HVAC systems on air filters it happens quite often, more often than I would like to see. Uh, and I'm sure any other healthcare facility would like to see. Um, that being said, I'd have to give Fiberbond products the advantage here when it comes to molds and spores because with Sporax, it just doesn't happen. It's protected regardless of how long you leave these filters in. It'll even, the agent even remains active after you dispose of the filter. So, and I can't tell you how many times in my career I've come across final filters that were covered in mold. We replace them with, with the Fiberbond Multi Wedge 95s with Sporax, leave them in for twice the length of time. This goes 20, uh, 12 months, this goes 24 months, only to never see any signs of molds and spores again. So that's a real good indication that Sporax works because the products before them didn't. And so I'd have to give uh, Fiberbond the advantage here. Now, this is a MERV 14, this one's a MERV 16. Now, is there a huge advantage to having a MERV 16? In my professional opinion, there is not, and I'll show you why. Uh, you're going to see a chart here I've shared on this platform before, and I'm uh, going to share it again. It is the results of a test report that one of the big players uh, uh, conducted years ago. I got my hands on it, and uh, here it is. So here you have it, and this pretty much says it all. This supports what I have always said to uh, end users, and that is, the majority of the particles that are in the air that we are breathing is due to human activity. And this chart pretty much says it all. If you look at category one, go down to the fourth line where uh, it says the, the uh, micron sizes range from three to one. Now that, everything from that on up is 97% of what is in an average square foot of air. Now those particles can be captured and retained by a competent MERV-8 or MERV-9 product. I say competent because you need to have a product in place that eliminates bypass and will not collapse or buckle and expose vital mechanical equipment to unfiltered air. That's what I mean by competent, because if you're using pleated filters, then you can't really use that as a measuring tool because they you know, buckle and collapse once introduced to a little bit of moisture, or they are notorious for allowing a lot of bypass. They are cardboard framed filters, and there's virtually no way that you can get a complete seal when you're using these products. So is a MERV 16 product uh, more of an advantage to have? No, it really isn't. And this chart pretty much proves that. So there you have it. I mean, truth be told, a competent MERV 8, MERV 9 product is going to do the majority of the work, the bulk of the work. Very little will pass a competent MERV-8, MERV-9 product and, and uh, load up final filters. We see this all the time when we're out in our hospitals changing filters. The pre-filters will load up. We use the Fiberbond 
uh, uh, MERV 11 poly shield 440 cubes. Those load up, whether it's 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, they do load up. But these filters seemingly never do. Even after 24 months, you could leave them in further than that. Uh, so longevity, I'd have to go with the Fiber Bond Multi Wedge 95. You just can't compare it. And it's nice because in 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 the real world or or in the perfect world, engineers would be on top of filters and have them changed in a timely manner so you never have to worry about molds and spores. But in reality, that rarely happens. You have understaffed uh, 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 engineering crews, you have an overload of work. Sometimes, as crazy as it may seem or sound, air filters just aren't on the priority list. It's very difficult to get everybody on the same page to get air filters changed. And that leads to the problems that I share with you here on this platform or on my website. Uh, over 30 years of crawling in and out of air handlers, dozens and dozens of hospitals, hundreds of air handlers, and I see the same thing. So longevity goes to fiber bond products with Sporax. And then I have to go with what else is very important when it comes to filters is labor intensity. You know, some of these hospitals, depending on the size, I know these Kaiser have hundreds of filters on the rooftop. So you have to haul them through the hospitals, get to the freight elevator, all the way to the top, and then two flights of stairs. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of, of these boxes because they're bulky, 35 pounds a piece, heavy filters versus packed three, four per box, significantly lighter. I mean, one box of three, four of these filters, probably half the, the weight of just one of these filters, a lot less boxes, a lot more manageable, a lot less labor intensity. I'd have to go give it to Fiber Bond Products on, on labor intensity here. They get the advantage. Um, MERV rating again, you know, yeah, it sounds better to have the MERV 16, but is it a real advantage? No, it isn't, and I've shown you why. Um, those things right there will affect, drastically affect your operation costs. And if you want your HVAC system to operate efficiently and effectively at all times, the only way that's going to happen is if you keep your HVAC system clean, vital mechanical components clean, such as coils, motors, moving parts. Those need to be clean in order for the system to operate efficiently and effectively at all times. Fiber Bond Products gives you that. You don't have to take my word for it. I have plenty of documentation that I share with you on this platform and my website spanning over 30 years in this career. And I'm still doing it. I, I, I may be a business owner, but I'm an owner operator and I will always go out there and work with my guys. It's just who I am. It's the background, what I came from. I, I, I can't sit at a desk and look at my bank account all day long. I, I, that's not me. I like being out there. I like for my clients to know that I'm seeing this, not my guys are telling me I'm there and I'm seeing what is going on in your system. And this is how we're handling it. So there you have it guys. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. I'll be more than happy to uh, talk filters with you. If you want me to do a comparison on other filters, please shoot me an email and I'll be more than happy to do so. I'm even willing to debate anybody on, on air filters, not argue, debate, because what I bring are facts and truth. 
and I leave it up to you. You don't have to take my word for it. If any of you Kaisers out there are, are a little open-minded, you want to try something different, just pick one air handler. Any facility out there, one air handler. Make it one that that you just has been giving you problems, whether it's moisture, whether it's high airflow, blowing out filters, whatever it is. That one air handler. Try our pre and final filters and then judge for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. Judge for yourself and then go from there. That's my challenge to you. So <laughs> hope it helps. Send me an email, give me a call. Be more than happy to talk filters with you. Take care.